Hello, in today's video we are going to explain how to change the presentation of bottom hardness information in discrete mode. For this we're going to start out in the fishing workspace. And to show depth information and color, we're going to click on the bathymetry button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to switch on our depth color shading. And to switch to hardness display, I right click on it and select bottom hardness from the drop down menu. By default, the display is on a gradient between 0 and 100%, from purple being the softest and yellow being the hardest. You can switch to a manual mode to set the minimum and maximum hardness values you wish to display. And to discrete mode, which we're going to go into a little more detail on now. The advantage of the discrete mode, particularly when we use a 2D and 3D workspace, is that we can distinguish the relationship between hard areas and higher areas. By default, we have a palette of five colors between red and purple and we can edit the colors to customize the palette. I'm gonna start with the hardest part and set that as black to distinguish the upper part of the rocks. And I can add an intermediate color in brown and set that to 95%. Now I'm gonna modify the next color to 90% and set that as red. And now we have a gradient between black and red. So the hardest part stands out. I'm gonna to continue to set the other hardness values. So I'm gonna adjust it with the A or automatic button to be able to see the entire color palette. Now the hard part that is displayed in green will be the softest part. And going back to our 2D and 3D view, we can now better distinguish the rocks and the softer parts like sand in between the rocks. One point I want to touch on is the difference between bottom hardness and bottom classification. So first off, I'm going to remove the hardness color shading. The bottom classification given by Farino sounders such as the BBDS1 or DFF1 UHD is calculated by the sounder and the colors shown are the colors from that sounder. Red for rock, orange for gravel, yellow for sand, and blue for mud. This corresponds to the classification type of the bottom and not to the hardness of the bottom. We can see when we turn the color back on that we do not have the same colors between classification and hardness. Going back to the fishing workspace, you can save the scale that I just configured so that we can retrieve it later. And this will allow you to go back to the different save settings we already have. We have the initial or default setting. The personal setting, the configuration I just created, and one to be able to display the same color as the Furuno sounders. When we look at the results, now we'll find the correlation between the color of the bottom classification and the color of the hardness. So in blue, the least hard part, and in red, the hardest parts that correspond effectively to the rocky areas. Thanks for watching the video. 
Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions on this or other topics related to our products.